Hi friends, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to embed a YouTube video in your web page. So this is the web page that we are going to design. So here we have our YouTube video and if I click on this frame over here, we can see the video starts. So this is a YouTube player and we have embedded a YouTube video in our web page. So in this video, we will learn how to embed a YouTube video and also change some of the options available so let's get started so this is my new document i will just create a, a basic html structure so we will name our web page so here we'll create some divisions so first of all i'll create a division called wrapper which is which is going to wrap all the other divisions so wrapper and in that i will create a division called heading and uh, in heading we will type gt coding web designing and then we are going to have uh, an h2 in that we will type now we'll create another division for our video so we will leave it there and then we'll create another division called content and in that we will type so this is our html code now we will go to our css and style this page first of all we will reset the padding and the margin so padding 0 pixels margin 0 pixels and then we will have the height of html and body to be 100% We'll also set the box sizing to border box and the background color to beige. So first of all, we need to link our CSS in our HTML. So we'll go to our head tag and here we will type link and the name of our CSS. So we have that linked. Now we'll go ahead and style our wrapper. Here we will have a background color of hash EEE and uh, height of 100%. Now we will style the heading. Here we will have a height of 100 pixels, padding of 10 pixels, text align to center, font size of 35 pixels and uh, line height of 2.5 font family of big john and the color of our text to gray so for the background color if we look in our web page we can see we have a gradient which means we have two colors over here here we have a black color and here we have a dark blue color so for that you have to type linear gradient and in brackets you have to type the first color and then the next color so for that we will select a color i will select a color using my extension called color picker so i have to press ctrl alt and k and it will bring up this color picker if you don't know about this, you can watch my previous video where I have discussed about various extensions that you can use for brackets. So I will just select a dark blue color over here. I think that looks fine. So that's it for the heading. Now we will style the H2. We will have a padding of 20 pixels, text aligned to center, font family of Verdana font size of 18 pixels and background color of hash eee color of the text to dark red and text transform to capitalize it will uh, capitalize all the first character of all the words so that's it for our h2 
now we will style the video division so we will text align it to the center and have a padding of 10 pixels now the last thing is content so for that we will have a padding of 10 pixels and text align to center font size of 17 pixels and font family of Verdana now we will move to the important stuff so here in this division we have to put the video so I have opened the video in my new tab over here so what you have to do is just go to the video that you want to embed and here below the video you can see a button called share you just click on that and you have different options of sharing to different social media but you have to go to the tab called embed and here you will have a line of code so click on show more and here we can see all the different options that this video frame has so here you can select the size of your video and there are different options over here so if we check this on after the video finishes it will show some suggested videos so we don't want that in our web page so we'll close that so you can also disable the player controls of youtube so for example if we disable this we don't see the seek bar down here so we can enable that then we have other options like showing the video title so if we enable this we can see we have this video title over here we don't want this in our web page so these are all the options available you can experiment with these and check them out so the important thing is this line of code over here so after selecting the options what you have to do is go over here and copy this whole line of code and paste it anywhere that you want so we will go to our web page so here in our video division we will paste the code and click on save and we have this video right over here so this is how a youtube video can be embedded on your web page you can also customize this frame over here this is an iframe you can see this is an iframe so you can also customize this so we will go ahead and create a class for our iframe so we will type class video frame and then go to our CSS and here we will style our video frame so video frame we will have a border of 2 pixels solid black and a box shadow of 1 pixels 1 pixels 10 pixels and black so we have the box shadow over here so you can customize this frame to whatever you want so this is how a youtube video can be embedded on your web page it is a great way to embed videos you can also insert your videos on your web server and display it on your web page but displaying videos from youtube is an easier way and you don't have to worry about the video player and the server space and all those things you just have to upload the video to youtube and embed the video in your web page using this code over here so i hope this was helpful for you and if you have any doubts regarding this you can write them in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates so thanks a lot for watching have a nice day